Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central. I'm your host, Jack, and today we're taking a look at when women get rejected and men stop simping. Number 20. Let's dive right in. Right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. I'll ask you. Would you f*** Aubrey right now? What? <laughs> Just answer the question. Uh, she's waiting so bad. Say no, people. She's waiting on you. No, she's waiting on you. Hello? He's so late. I'll call one of my friends. Okay. This is a smart man. He knew it was a trick, so he wasn't gonna simp for her. If you can say anything, what would you say to your ex? I still love him. You still love your ex? <laughs> yeah. Why do you guys break up? Have you still love him? He broke up with me. Why did he break up with you? He wanted to focus on himself. I kind of feel bad for her. She's clearly still in love, but sometimes people don't stay forever. Shout out to my ex, though. I wouldn't be living my best life if we were still together. Heck yeah, glad to see this guy is living his best life, despite the breakup. And what type of girl do you usually go for? I mean, oh yeah. He likes his girlfriend. Oh, oh, you're very, very respectful, very <laughs> respectful. He knows that he has a girl and won't stoop to her. Hey baby, you still by your girl? That was a brutal prank. She might as well be the undertaker. <laughs> Can you give support? Yes! Yes! yes. You go, girl! You got it, girl! What do you think? Aww! That's so sweet! I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, turn him back on. He said yes! <laughs> Man, turn the music back on. Get that music. Get that music. Get that music. DJ. What is it? What is it, Dad? Dang, that must have hurt, man. Saying no to a proposal in public is just cold. So you want a top earner to accept a divorcee with three kids? He gets no children from you, and all he gets is the re part of your free time for 100% of his monogamy. Does that sound like a fair deal? Yes. Insane. No. Buy a dog and die alone because you keep talking about someone, and we already established we weren't going to do that. But see, that's your ego. She might be delusional if she thinks a man will want her. She's a prime example of a gold digger. I can't lie here. How can I bring a girl to my house here for the first time to meet my mum and she blocks the toilet? Bare sh toilet. The whole toilet's blocked. She meets my mum whatever. We go to my room. We're chilling. We're watching Netflix. Whatever. She says that she needs to use the toilet. Yeah. She goes to the toilet now. She does a number two and she blocks it, bro. And now she calls me and she tells me what happened. I go to the toilet now and I see bare sh toilet and bare tissue, bro. And I'm thinking, this is what's inside you. This came from inside you. The whole toilet was blocked. I had to call a plumber next day. And my mum knew, my mum saw. I had to explain to my mum what happened. My mum needed to use the toilet. And she saw it. And me and my mum are there running around the whole house gagging. Like we're going to vomit. And she's just there standing there like this. Like, hopeless. Well, we know this girl is never going back to this man's home after that one. All right, so just go ahead and call your girlfriend real quick. Okay. Just like, guess who took me out for Valentine's? Guess. Call Nia. Nia. Guess who took me out for Valentine's Day? What? Guess who took me out for Valentine's Day? Guess who I'm with? I don't know. Really? Who am I with? Okay, I think. Oh, that was not too good to me. GG's, Brody. Now you can take off that dumb sweater with your shorty on it. She's not even telling her friends about her man. Did you see his shirt, though? Okay, this is for the boys. Just a regular picture of a finger, right? You edit it. You go to straighten. Boom. Make it straighter. You know what I'm saying? Horizontal. Well, bang, that was white. Damn, look at that shit. It's big as hell now. This trick go crazy. Keep it on the down low, though. To our wives and girlfriends. May they never meet. 
Go, go. Cheers, boys. Gotta love these funny shorts. He's actually uh, pretty prosperous. He's making close to $40,000 a year. But what are you laughing at? You're How laughing much at you? Very, very low income. But it's okay. It's okay. You know, what, did, what do you think the average income is? The average minimum is 100000 Like, that's barely making it. In California, especially, too. That's like minimum wage. Huh? I'm not sure where 100k is the minimum wage, but I'm moving wherever that is. Red flag number seven is when she has guy friends. There's some rare scenarios where like a guy and a girl are old childhood friends and there's legitimately no tension between them, but almost always when a guy and a girl are friends, there's some degree of sex tension. And even if the girl's not interested in the guy, a lot of times the guy has been friend zoned and he's just like hanging around to see if he gets an opportunity down the line. And if you're talking to a girl and you notice that she regularly hangs out one-on-one -on -one or even just texts one-on-one -on -one with other guys. She likes the validation. Those guys are waiting to swoop in if they can. And a lot of times, like, girls that have a lot of guy friends, they have one foot out the door in a relationship and they have, like, a lineup waiting for, like, oh, if this relationship ends, it's okay because I have all these other guys that are interested in me. And then she never even fully invests into the relationship with you in the first place. How many guy friends do you got? Zero. But I'm friends with a lot of your friends. That's different, though. <laughs> like, if I would want my girlfriend or my wife to be friends with my friends. It'd be weird if she wasn't. Straight up facts from this guy. If she has guy friends, that is an immediate red flag. They have different intentions. My ex could be the love of your life. He told me he loved me and then ghosted me for four years. Well, that sucks, but it looks like you're married now. Like a comment said, that's not even a side eye. That's a full dang head turn. Emily, I can't help you carry groceries because it's implying that women are not strong enough to carry all the groceries. I believe in women too much to help you carry these. I'm gonna need you to put all these groceries in the fridge as well. I'm not gonna mansplain how to, you know, organize a fridge. You're way too smart and strong for that, so. If you could just put all this away, I'm gonna go play League. See you later. Dang, bro found a loophole in marriage. This is actually hilarious to watch. Should he have any control over what you wear when you go out? Oh, hell no. No, no, no. No. If Shouter no. wears something a little too bit revealing, you know what I mean? I should have a bit say so just because, like, you were a reflection of me. No. If that makes sense. No. I walked out here she in this on, mini she mini on because I'm a woman of 2023, no, and I feel no, like women, good. She, women can wear what they want to wear. Like some, look, you I shouldn't fine, have look, to talk to my look, husband look, about look. wearing what I should wear, you look, know? you find like someone, but at the same time, no. also be respectable and respect your no. husband, you hear me? If I want to wear a bralette, I can wear a bralette out. You shouldn't, you, I shouldn't have to ask for his position. I shouldn't have to ask for his no thing on, your titties out. I'm not saying we, my titties we're breaking out. Up. We're He's saying if I wear a bralette and the underwear, that's what I'm saying, I know. A man, a man should not be able, a man, I'm finna take this off later. Man should not be able to tell a woman what she should it. and should not wear. It's 2023. If there are flying yeah, cars, yeah, yeah. that means men cannot tell women what they Go should wear. Go back to 1993. That's, period. Let's see That's what on happened. anything. <laughs> Let's see what you happened. should not be able to tell me what I have to wear. Girl, That's you know not, no, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. This girl is a walking red flag for sure. I hope he can get away from her ASAP because this is a recipe for trouble. What's your body count? How many partners have you had? Oh my God. She's counting. It's That's taking. not good. Seven. Seven? Yeah. I'm not gonna. It's 21. You're welcome. If she can't even do the math on her own body count, she's a walking red flag. This video is a 10 out of 10. If you had a child that wanted to get a an 18 year old, of course, you would support them getting into it, correct? Yeah. You know, you ask the most like basic, arrogant, disgusting questions. Well, no, like I just need to let you know, like you're a little prick and you're lucky that I've even sat here this long and entertained this conversation. But yeah, I don't care as long as they're happy. But you ask all the basic, like just so, so like just so small minded, like you're just very disappointing. I really thought that you would have something interesting to ask me, but you just asked the same questions I've been asked countless of times before. And I really thank you for your time. Thank you so much for interviewing me. But um, yeah, have a nice day. Can you give us an example of a good question? Um, what do you think the meaning of life is? Imagine being in that business and getting mad at those types of questions. This hurt 
her deep. You got a girl? Nah, bro. My girl just broke up with me. Honestly, she cheated on me with my best homie. I got major trust issues, you know? Well, I'm a girl and I would never cheat on you. Yo. See, this is why I got trust issues. <laughs> uh, how? Why'd you put your sister on the mic, bro? It's me. I'm a girl. I'm single. I would never cheat on you. That's but... exactly what the last girl said. I'm not like the other girls. I'm really special. How are you special? Please enlighten me. You'll just have to find out. Like, do you want my number? Damn, girl, you move fast. I can give you my number, but like, I gotta run a little background I'm checking you first. If you ain't got this, then you don't need to talk. All right, let me hear it. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You got some big <laughs> knockers or what? What? The knockers are knocking or what? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I really don't have any milkers. I can make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you really can't make me laugh. That's crazy. She ain't got no. Yeah, I gotta go. No wonder why you're single. That's crazy. Wait. Oh my god. Why did he leave? Rejected on the video game? Now that sucks. Uh, embrace what? I love being a f Embrace what? Masculinity, baby. You feel me? That's all I love, bro. Feminist. <laughs> it's not okay to be fat. It's not okay to be Embrace harsher. Work out. Learn to f Control your emotions. Don't be a f Yes, boys, we all need to be proud of who we are. Confidence is key and the way to a successful life. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. See you all later.